Sports. Moments ago, a federal judge in Chicago sentenced R. Kelly for his federal case in Illinois. Tia Ewing is live downtown at the Dirkskin Federal Building with the latest for us this afternoon. Good afternoon, Tia. Good afternoon to you, Terrence. Yeah, we were expecting a little bit more time. At least that's what the state, or I should say the government, was saying. They wanted R. Kelly to serve an additional 25 years on top of the 30 years he was already handed down out of New York. But that did not happen inside of that courtroom today. Also, R. Kelly did not speak on his behalf. A lot of fireworks, though, inside of that courtroom from both sides, the government and also R. Kelly's attorney arguing uh, for lesser time. Meanwhile, the government was arguing arguing for more time. The government was calling for R. Kelly to serve those 25 years consecutively to his New York sentence where he was already convicted. The judge here in Illinois federal court decided he will serve one year consecutively and 19 years to be served concurrently, meaning combining the Illinois and New York cases, R. Kelly will serve 31 years. Kelly is still under indictment, though, in the state of Minnesota. In court, again, there were a lot of fireworks from his attorney. She was hoping for even less time, which it seems like she got, hopefully will get to talk to her about the outcome today. Um, and the 56-year-old, as of right now, was sentenced here in Illinois based on convictions from last year in Chicago on child pornography and enticement charges. Inside the courtroom, we did hear from two victims, and also a statement was read from one of the victims. Uh, as for R. Kelly's attorney, she did hint at the fact that a possible appeal for their uh, charges in New York could be coming. Again, we hope to hear from her inside of the Dirksen Federal building. She has not come down from the courtroom yet, but hopefully we'll get to hear more on what she thinks about the outcome today in R. Kelly's cases moving forward. Live from the Dirksen Federal Building, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago. Tia, thank you. I know you'll be staying on top of this story throughout the day.